email is a great tool to be able to manage your users and allow them to reset their passwords and be invited into their applications, but also to allow your application to alert users, sending notifications through automations. To allow BuddyBase to be able to send email, we need to configure it to be able to talk to SMTP, the simple mail transfer protocol. You can do this through a third party service, maybe SendGrid or another platform. I'm just going to use Google Mail, um, which allows me to be able to do that. So in my email, I've set up smtp.gmail.com on port 465 and a kevin at buddybase.com. I've required sign in and use my Google email address and password to be able to send my email. I do need to have made sure that in my Google settings, which I can find in here, in forwarding and pop IMAP, I've enabled IMAP, which allows me to be able to interact with SMTP. Once I've done that, I can invite a new user into my application. Add user. Cunningham.co.uk, invite them by email. The invitations will be sent out and received. So this is following an email template which we can control within our BuddyBase application. So if we go back into email, the bottom here we have the templates. First of all, there's the base format, which is the template that all of the others are injected into. It's got some um, CSS at the top, um, but mostly it's this table layout most HTML clients are, are limited to. We've got the company, which in our example was just said buddy base, and then the body, which has been injected in here with the name and company at the bottom. So that's what that looks like as a preview. What gets injected into the body? Well, there are a couple of templates. There's the password recovery. Again, you could edit what this says, how it works, but effectively there's a request URL, which we access through this binding and render using these double braces, this mustache syntax. The preview looks something like this you get an idea of what that might look like. Equally, there's the user welcome, once they've accepted part of being part of our um, application and an invitation once to invite them in. The last template is the custom template. And this is the one that will be used by any automations within your application. If your application is going to send an email, this is the template that will be used. They'll inject the contents into this double brace. So once your email is set up, your users can reset passwords, be invited into the application, and be ready to receive all of the notifications from your application.